a mid-air scare for Lufthansa Flight 469 from Austin, Texas to Frankfurt, Germany, diverted to Dulles Airport outside Washington due to extreme turbulence. Passengers describing items tossed all over the cabin, including food trays. It was kind of like you're in slow motion that you just see everything like like in a movie where you just see everything lift and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden it just comes right back down. Lufthansa Airbus A330 experienced extreme turbulence. The FAA says the flight landed without incident, adding the crew reported encountering severe turbulence at 37,000 feet altitude over Tennessee. Seven passengers were taken to local hospitals, many more shaken up. Approximately 10 patients have been triaged during the process of either obtaining refusals and or getting folks transported to the hospital shortly. It's the latest in a series of recent airline incidents. Hawaiian 35, heavy to Canada. Uh, medical personnel uh, at the gate. Oh, yes, we do, Hawaiian 35. Dozens of people were injured in turbulence on this Hawaiian Airlines flight from Phoenix to Honolulu in December. Passengers lurching violently up and down, hitting their heads. This is the very reason that pilots like myself constantly warn you from the cockpit to keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you're in your seat, regardless of flight conditions. Because if we hit something like this and you're not strapped in, you can go flying. That same day, a United flight from Hawaii suddenly dove 1,400 feet, coming within 800 feet of the Pacific before climbing again. The cause of the nosedive not immediately clear. As for the turbulence that hit that Lufthansa flight, the FAA is investigating. Derek Dennis, ABC News, New York.